Growing up in Long Beach, it's a, it's a little more difficult being a surfer, I could say, because about 30 minutes to a good wave, a good wave to surf and practice on. I just got my license, so it's easier to go down there, but when my mom had to drive me, it was pretty difficult. She'd be pretty bummed at me, like yelling at me, but it was worth it. My dad, he uh, brought me down to the beach all the time and uh, just hang out and I just grabbed a boogie board, tried catching it and surfing on the boogie board. Then after that, my dad started taking me out and uh, we just go to Seal Beach all day long. The difficulties of being a pro surfer nowadays is it's pretty high, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to compete with all these surfers because everyone has so much talent. Competitive surfing versus free surfing is uh, similar and different at the same time, you know. As a free surfer, it's like you're competitive to pull the biggest maneuver of your life, but then competition surfer, it's all in the head, you know, it's like a golfer, you mind over matter pretty much. So I like to compete and that's what I look towards, but free surfing is always fun, you know. You don't have as much pressure, but you definitely want to land those clips and stuff. I guess I feel like everyone thinks that surfers are just like burnouts, you know, like I told my friends I go to school, like, oh, I'm becoming a pro surfer. Like, they'd be like, how do you make money in that? You know, like, when we are making a living, you know, it's fun and we get paid for it. So it's not like we're just sitting on the couch doing nothing, maybe surfing every once in a while. Like, we're actually working at it. My perfect day, wake up, crack of dawn, like 5 a.m. in the morning, head to Seal Beach South Side on the West Swell, getting all the waves I want, get some sweet jills, get a nice little cinnamon roll. Heading home and then uh, watching some Netflix and heading to sleep. Mm -hmm.